Hey, how's it going? I'm going to show you a couple ways to put a rocket together using an assembly. So you should have the parts already made. If you don't have parts made for your rocket, uh, I'll make some videos and you can watch those beforehand. But when it comes to our rockets, we've got a fuselage made, a nose cone made, and a couple different types of wings. Um, I'm going to bring in, I'm going to hit place and bring in my fuselage. And we only need one of those, so I'm going to click it and hit escape on my keyboard. I'm going to bring in my nose cone. And hit escape. And I'm going to bring in a flat wing. And hit escape. Alright, the first thing we want to do when we're doing an assembly is right click and ground it so that it won't move. And then we want to constrain, I'm going to do the nose cone first. So I'm going to use the insert constraint and I'm going to click on the top of the rocket and the bottom. And there it goes. Hit apply. Uh, I know it's the top of my rocket because I made it, but also if I rotate this, there seems to be some lag on it. You can see that the bottom has a circle. Uh, it's extruded out of the bottom. All right, and then we'll add a constraint and we wanna use the tangent constraint. So this one right here. And I wanna do the bottom of the rocket. And I wanna zoom in on the side of my wing. And since my wing is literally paper thin, uh, I want to get on this part of the wing, the flat part, not the edge, and hit apply. And you can see it put it right on there, but I also want to make it flush with the bottom. So I'm going to click on, again, it is literally paper thin, so I'm going to zoom in on it and zoom in on the bottom, and I'm using the flush constraint, which is right there. And so what this does is now it is flush with the bottom. Now, some of you want to offset it and so raise it up. So using this offset tool, I can determine how big I want to offset it from the bottom. So that's what 0.25 inches looks like, or one inch looks like this. For my example, I'm going to do like a quarter of an inch. Then I'm going to hit apply. But I don't want one fin. I want many fins. So the easiest way to do this is to do a pattern. And we want to do a circular pattern. I want to click on my fin, and then with the red arrow, I want to click on the circle on the bottom. And so it says, hey, you've got four fins, you want to go 90 degrees, we can do that. Or you can change your numbers um, and say, hey, I want three, and then at um, 120 degrees, if you're unsure of your math, you can always create some kind of equation. So 360 divided by 3. So I'm going to make three fins at 120 degrees. And there's an example of a rocket assembly. All right, before we go any further, we want to make sure that we save our work, put it in your Google Drive, save it, um, and good job.